Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about a new product that we recently added to the Lurebank shop and that are these decals. So there is a new product available on the Lurebank's web shop and those are stickers. And these stickers are to cover your lure and they will give you super extreme realistic results. Really the, the quality of the stickers, the detail and results are really amazing. I really love these. I tested them out on one lure, as you can see. And I hot stamped the lure first and then I used one of these transparent stickers so that the foil still shines through underneath that detail and that, that looks extremely realistic it's like a tiny little fish it's, it's beautiful also I was really really amazed with the quality of the stickers these are really strong and these stickers are stretchy as well so you can stretch them out to fit your lure and get really a smooth finish also really interesting is that we will have fins in a few different sizes and these look very natural, they're really easy to use, you just stick them on, the lure, on your lure at the end and you're gonna get a perfect fin every time. So no need to stress out when you need to paint fins or you just skip it because you're afraid to, to ruin your lure. You can just grab one of these and it will be perfect every time. The transparent ones you can use holographic foil, hot stamping foil. Uh, pearl paints, even color shift paints underneath as a base and then you put the sticker on and then you get this really cool effect that's going on underneath that detail that you put on there so like in for example I did with this one but it is really important that you give your lure a clear coat first before putting on the sticker if you're using a base because if you put on the sticker and you put a clear coat on there that clear coat is not gonna cover the paint underneath because the sticker is like a layer in between and you want your your pearl or your holographic foil or whatever you're using as a base you want that to be as shiny as possible and it is always shinier when there is a clear coat on there so that's why it's really important you put your base coat on there whatever it is a pearl paint or a metallic paint or a metallic foil or a hot stamping foil you give that a clear coat and then you put on your sticker and then you give a last finish. So now I'm gonna show you how to use these and how easy they are. So we got a roach pattern here and I already hot stamped my lure and gave it a clear coat. Now if you want to learn how to hot stamp lures I will leave a link in the description down below to the video that will show you how to hot stamp lures so you can do this at home with minimal requirements. So I hot stamped this lure and then I gave it a clear coat. Now why did I give it a clear coat before? That is if you put this sticker on then and you put a clear coat on then, that clear coat is not going to touch your foil. And so your foil will be uh, less shiny, it's going to be more matte. And you don't want that, you want your foil, your foil as shiny as possible. So that's why I need to put a clear coat on the foil first before I can put this sticker on. Uh, I, I learned this in another video a long time ago where I did a, a, a metallic foil and then did some candy 2 o on there and then I put a sticker on it and then I gave it a clear coat and then I noticed that my foil was not shiny because the clear coat was not touching the foil because the, the sticker that you put on there acts as a film in between those two. So that's why it's really important to give it a clear coat first. So if you're using a foil or uh, you're gonna hot stamp your lure or even when you do it with a, with a chrome paint base coat or a pearlescent paint base coat, give that a clear coat first before putting on the sticker. It's gonna give a much better result. And the only tool you need is a knife. I like to use a precision knife, but you can also use a carpenter's knife or any other sharp fine bladed knife but I like using the precision knife because it's really fine and it cuts through the sticker like butter. So in order to put this sticker on, I always like to concentrate on the eye. So as long as I align my eye with my lure, then it's, then it's gonna be the same on both sides. And this 
this sticker really fits well with this lure because even the fin aligns for most of, of the most of the fin at least and once you figured out how you're gonna put on your sticker you just simply peel it off now I align my eye again So I like to put the middle on first, so the flat side. And the gill plates, make sure there is no faults in here, like that. A little bit of the back on there. Now there's not much, not much coloring here, so I don't have to worry too much about that. You can use your fingernail to smoothen out certain pieces right here. For the body, I do want to go a little bit more downwards. Because you can see there are a few scales here, and I want those to be on, on my lure as well. That is one side done. So now you just take your knife, knife pull back a little bit, so that only leave the sticker with the paint on there all that transparent sticker that doesn't need to be on there you don't need to cut straight because that doesn't really matter that much There we got one side done. And the thing is, the, the glue on this sticker is really, really good. The sticker sticks really well to the lure. And as you can see, yeah, it's a little stretchy as well. So you can stretch it out if necessary. Overall, quality-wise, this is the best sticker I have ever used. So now we're going to do the other side. Then we're going to do the most difficult part, and that is the belly. Because we got a hook eye to work with, and that is the most difficult part. I want to align this really nice and neat. Just leave it on there like that. Small incision. Now you can see there are some, some cracks and, and folds here, so I just pull them back, pull my foil tight and press it on there again. And now it's nice and smooth. And that's how easy it is. Now you can put a clear coat on this. And that's gonna be a really awesome lure. Really nice details, holographic effect. Looks really great. Or you can kick it up a notch. 
and add some paint to it because I find that here there is a little bit of a mouth or at least a little bit of a darker spot missing so I'm gonna fix that and I'm gonna use a little bit of pearl white on the body as well just to give it a little bit of a pearl whitish belly but other than that there's nothing I would change on this lure it really looks good as it is and that's how easy it is to use these stickers Ready for a clear coat. As always, I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used in this video. And the thing that I'm most proud of is that these are made in Europe. They are produced by a very small company in Finland. And that really makes me proud because that is how we can support each other and help other small businesses grow and create a really nice lure painting community. If you got any questions, suggestions or you want to share some knowledge with the lure painting community, Leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye bye.